Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do the daytime Avon makeup look using the quad palette from Avon and also how to achieve this makeup look on the face. So let's get started. So after prepping the skin, this is what I do for my oily skin. I just use this green tea oil absorbing paper from Kissy Miss. This is oil blotting paper. You can use any brand that you have. So this is natural plant ingredients, soft, comfortable, and no harm to skin, very safe to use. Just take a piece of the blotting paper on the face, gently press it, and you can see that it absorbs all the oil. Now I do have very oily skin, but this paper absorbs all the excess oils and sebum in just one go and leaves my skin pretty matte and smooth as you can see. It takes away all the excess shine from my face and does not irritate my skin in any way. And the effects last for pretty long. Then I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, which is a lightweight mist of water packed with vitamins and minerals, infused with a blend of green tea, chamomile, and cucumber to gently soothe and refresh the skin. Gives an instant boost of hydration while delivering a soft sheen to refresh and finish makeup. This holy grail of hydrating mist can be used with other products in near endless ways. Improve the wear of makeup or moisturize and soothe tired skin. Let's do the eye makeup first. I'm going to use my eyelash curler which is this one that I have. For a mirror I'm going to use this one. Love it. Insert the lash curler down to the base of your lashes, gently close and squeeze for about 5 to 10 seconds. Slide the eyelash curler down to the ends of your lashes, close it and pulse gently to curl the tips of your lashes. Do the same with the lower lashes. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect in the shade Very Black. This curled elastomer wand grabs every little lash, separates and coats with minimal clumping. So if your lashes are barely there to begin with, just like mine, this wand will make them look more filled out. Now this exclusive fanning mascara brush with 10 layers of bristles reveal layers of lashes, adding the look of length and volume without clumping. Lashes go supple, separated, and fully fanned. This mascara delivers thick lashes that never feel weighed down. Next I'm gonna use Nature's Ingredients with Natural Aloe Vera Extract Lip Balm. This is inspired by nature's goodness. This is from Marks & Spencer. It's a lovely lip balm, has a light texture, gentle on the skin, lasting and well moisturizing. And the best part is it doesn't smell so strong. For eye pencil, I will use my favorite Bourjois Liner Stylo Ultra Black. Intense deep color from the very first stroke. Convenient combination of an easy to use pencil with a long wearing hold of a liquid liner. Virtual pencil eyeliner is enriched with carnauba and beeswax giving it an ultra soft texture which glides effortlessly across the delicate eye area without snagging. So I already did a detailed true color eyeshadow quad from Avon eye makeup look. You can check it out on the upper right hand corner. Just click on the eye. So for moisturizer, I'm going to be using the sample size from Sephora, which is Instant Moisture Plus Cream Hyaluronic Acid Booster. Now this intensive best-selling formula hydrates and nourishes skin for up to 24 hours. That's what it claims. Now it recharges skin with hyaluronic acid for intense hydration with a weightless feel. Now, me being very oily skinned, I don't need to use a lot of it. Just a little bit goes a long way. So for the eye cream, I'm using a sample size of the YSL Forever Youth Liberator Eye Cream. All you have to do is apply morning and evening, dab onto the skin around the eyes, then finish with gentle sweeping movements. Now this has a unique texture designed to visibly recontour the eye instantly. So it claims to reduce appearance of wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness, and helps to freshen up, tone, and redefine eye contours. Now this can be used under makeup. After applying the moisturizer and eye cream, I will wait for about 5 minutes just for the skincare products to fully absorb and then I will apply the primer. So for primer, I'm going to be using Marks & Spencer Autograph Instant Radiance Primer, the ideal solution for tired and dull skin. Helps to brighten the complexion, enhancing the skin's natural glow and helping makeup stay in place. Apply before foundation to leave skin soft and smooth with a flawless, illuminated base ready to apply makeup. So I'm going to let the primer set in for about 5 minutes and then we're going to move on to the DD cream. And you've heard of BB creams, you've heard of CC creams, but have you heard of DD creams? 
So this is the best of both worlds. This is in the shade light medium with an SPF of 30. Starting out as a white cream, this product slowly changes color as it's rubbed into your skin to give you a natural glowing finish with a light coverage complete with SPF 30 to help protect your face from sun damage. Take care of your skin while also giving it a touch of coverage with this Autograph Daily Defense DD Cream. For blush, I'm going to be using this cream blush from Makiyaj Kweti. I got this from Jeddah. This is really amazing. If you're looking to achieve that fresh looking, lit from within glow, cream blush is a must. This is in the shade 02. Creamy formulas make it easy to add a natural looking flush. And unlike their powdery counterparts, they're hydrating, often nourishing, and super blendable. Now plus they can be applied with your fingers, which makes them ideal for on-the-go makeup. Now as you can see this one you can create a sheer supple effect or build up to a more striking hue. So I'm not going to do any contour on the face, I'm just going to keep it as it is. Ben Nays Luxury Banana Powder gives you more than enough reason to go bananas for this silky, fine, mattifying, translucent setting powder. This banana powder is micro milled into a silky texture, perfect for setting makeup easily and effortlessly. This translucent mattifying banana powder will create a smooth finish for your skin without clogging pores. Use it to set your makeup for the perfect finished look. If you have oily skin just like me, this is a must have. Now I'm going to be using a powder brush from Mikiyaji to dust off the rest of the powder. Try to get as much of the powder off as possible. Now the face may look a little pale or yellow tinted after this, which is mainly due to powder residue. Don't worry, this will go away after a few minutes. So for powder blush, I'm going to be using this random brand called Dream. This is in the shade 4. I know it looks very dark, but it is not. I'm going to be using Real Techniques Blush Brush to apply it. I'm applying the powder blush ever so lightly on the apples of my cheeks for a cute young look. And for eyebrows, I love my Rimmel eyebrow pencil. It's just my absolute favorite. This is in the shade Black Brown, which is 004. Now for a natural look, just apply the product in angles by following the way your hair is growing. Use a very light hand. Now using the highlighter shade 1 from the Avon Quad Palette, I'm going to be placing the highlighter on these places. The inner corners of your eyes tend to be more prone to darkness than other areas of the face. Adding some highlighter to brighten this area gives your eyes a more wide awake appearance. The brow bone is also an area of the face that catches light and is an important part to your bone structure. Give it a lifted appearance by adding some brightness to it with the highlighter. You can also place the highlighter at the center of your chin, middle of your forehead. The point of highlighting is to bring attention to where light naturally hits your face, which is at the high points. Being that the nose bridge is the highest point of the face, it makes sense to add a little bit of highlighter there. Your cupid's bow is the curved section at the center of your top lip. Highlighting this area helps to lift the lips and give them a fuller appearance and more defined shape. Now using a cotton bud and micellar water, I'm going to clean my lips. I'm going to be using lipstick from Avon. This is in the shade Twinkle Pink and I absolutely love it. I've used it so much. See? Now this is Frost Pink Light Baby Pink with Silver Shimmer. The texture of this lipstick is very smooth. It glides on very easily. The most unique thing about this lipstick, it has an SPF of 15, which is just a plus point. Dabbing my finger into shade 3 of the Avon Quad eyeshadow palette, I will pat it onto my lips. Now using eyeshadow as lipstick pretty much guarantees that your lips will benefit from pretty color all day long. Thanks to the simple fact that powders won't smudge as easily as your average lipstick or gloss. You can place a highlighter on the cheekbones to enhance your bone structure and give your face a lifted appearance. Apply a light layer of highlight to your cheekbones. Drag it up slightly under your temples to avoid a stark line where your highlighter begins and ends. Now let's set the makeup with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Now let's change our hijab and we're ready for the day. Now to keep your makeup fresh throughout the day, just use blotting papers like I do, especially if you have oily skin, because these sheets are made with extra absorbent material meant to remove oil and sweat without taking your makeup off. This means you can easily blot away oil without the fear of losing coverage in the process. You can do a simple daytime eyeliner. The easiest way to transform your day makeup to a more glam nighttime look is by focusing on the eyes. Amp up the eyes with a winged eyeliner and add in false lashes. For the lips, pop in some dark lip color and you're done. 
So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!